So ladies and gentlemen, a very important transit is uh, going to happen in the next two years. And I'm in drikpanchang.com. It says on 17th February next year, which is 2022, Saturn is going to transit into Dhanishta Nakshatra. And he will be there in Dhanishta uh, till 14th March 2023. And on 14th March 2023, he will enter Shatabhisha Nakshatra. Uh, but then again, he will enter Dhanishtha on uh, 15th October 2023. And finally, again, uh, enter Shatabhisha on 24th November 2023. Uh, because of the fact that it will go retrograde, of, obviously. Now, the thing is, uh, currently Saturn is in uh, Shava Nakshatra, as we know. And he will be there till uh, 17th February next year. So exactly two months from now. Um, so when uh, Saturn is in Shravana, it is a very good time to look and ponder upon things which actually matter to us. You see, Saturn is the planet of silence. <laughs> right? It's a planet which is not silent, but teaches us silence so therefore uh, when saturn transits from uh, through shravan nakshatra then it means that uh, now we are not just uh, harnessing the energy of saturn we are also harnessing the energy of the nakshatra which is shravana uh, which means we, we we develop the tendency to listen right uh, there's a, there are two things actually one is hearing and the other one is listening right so listening means actually uh, paying attention and hearing means just uh, acknowledging something is falling in your ears right so therefore many people say that shravana is about hearing actually it's not it's about listening therefore when uh, saturn is in shravana which it is from long time so you would have realized that the houses that Saturn rules in your chart. <clears throat> uh, there are certain compromises that you might have made. Okay, Why do I say compromises? Because uh, if you see Shravan Nakshatra, Shravana is actually uh, ruled uh, by the moon. And we have the story of Bali Maharaj, right? He wanted to do uh, 100 Ashwamedha Gyas and... He completed 99, but the 100th he could not complete because uh, Lord Vishnu had taken uh, an incarnation as Vamandev. And, but the thing is, uh, later on he went into Sutala rather than going to Swargaloka and he uh, became much more uh, wealthy and prosperous uh, even than in Indra. And in the next life he got the boon that, uh, sorry, in the next Manvantara he will become Indra. <clears throat> and what was the third boon that he got from Bamandev that I will personally be the doorkeeper uh, of Sutala. Yes. So these are the three benedictions which uh, he got. Uh, but it came in like uh, surprising unusual ways, right? Now, uh, what is Dhanishta Nakshatra? Dhanishta Nakshatra is related to Lord Shiva. It's related to drums. It's related to celebrations. Uh, it is related to uh, doing something which uh, we we feel is like our purpose in life. So, therefore, when Saturn is in Shravana currently, <clears throat> uh, it's crucial that we actually ponder upon things and try to listen to the voice of the universe, to the voice of our inner psyche to the voice of our gurus and to uh, the voice of God actually, which is within our heart. But when Saturn actually will enter Dhanishta in two months from now, then it, it will also be a time to listen to our inner psyche and to God. But at the same time, uh, Dhanishta Nakshatra is uh, very potent because it actually shows us what is worth celebrating in our life. Or rather, uh, what is worth keeping in our life? Because when we are in Shravan Nakshatra, there is deep meditation which is going on. There is proper planning, 
uh, and in Dhanishta there is execution and we also see some results okay but the thing is uh, about uh, the problem with Dhanishta is we may uh, try to be too much in the external realm rather than trying to be uh, in tune with our own nature the energies of Dhanishta and Shravana are very different Shravana says all right be with yourself uh, try to hear, try to listen what the universe is trying to tell you, what you want to do in life, right? But then we have Dhanishta Nakshatra which says that what is the use of hearing if you are not uh, able to do what you wish to do, right? So, therefore, when Saturn is in Shravana currently, it's very important for us to do uh, proper meditation and uh, to understand uh, one simple thing that we will not get everything that we desire. This is a very important lesson of Shravana, just like Bali Maharaj. Now, where will you find all these uh, lessons from Bali Maharaj? You will find them in the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the 8th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Okay, Srimad Bhagavatam is a very divine uh, scripture which was written by the great sage Maharishi Vyas, who wrote most of the Vedic scriptures. Uh, 5,000 years back, uh, who is actually a Shaktyavesh avatar of Lord Vishnu himself. He is uh, like Vishnu himself, right? So, <clears throat> he wrote the scriptures. Uh, earlier, it was only in oral form. It was passed on to the param, through the parampara system from a guru to the disciple. But Vyasdev saw <clears throat> uh, the precarious situation of the people of Kali Yuga, which is actually us. <laughs> he says, you know, manda sumanda matayo, manda bhagyo padita, right? They are always disturbed, short-lived, less memory, short-term memory loss. <laughs> and one of the, uh, the other problem in Kali Yuga is we forget everything that we should remember and remember everything that we should forget, right? So, for example, if somebody has done something good to us, we hardly remember, right? We tend to forget, even if it is there in our memory, but we take it for granted. Have you seen it? Uh, <clears throat> and if somebody has done some, not even something, if just one thing bad to us, one negative thing they have said, or uh, one small thing which they have done, which we think is not good, right? Now, if it is good or bad is another debate, but we think is not good, we think is not right, or we think should uh, not have been done then uh, it is something which we can never forget in this lifetime right till the end of our life we will remember oh, isna aisa kiya tha, isna aisa bola tha. <laughs> so therefore it's very crucial that you read the eighth canto and you understand shrava nakshatra bali maharaj and understand the importance of having the right guru the right association in your life uh, because in case of Bali Maharaj, he was the grandson of the great Prahlad Maharaj for whom Narsingh Dev had appeared. Very, two very interesting personalities. Uh, they are born in demoniac families. Prahlad is the son of Hiranyakashipu and uh, Prahlad's son Virochan is the father of now uh, Bali Maharaj. But the problem is, uh, I mean, uh, in, but uh, the good thing is, in spite of being uh, born in these demoniac families, they they are also in the list of Mahajans. Well, one, uh, they are uh, two of the twelve Mahajans, right? As Yamaraj says to the Yamadutas in the Srimad Bhagavatam. <clears throat> so, therefore, when uh, this transit of uh, Dhanishta will come, you will actually uh, rip the fruits, the results, the benefits of the tapasya which you hopefully did when Saturn was or is currently in Shravana. So, for those of you who did intense penance, you actually understood your voice uh, uh, depending on the houses that Saturn rules. So, if Saturn is your Lagna Lord, then something to do with your health or your intellect, uh, I mean, not material intelligence, but how is your intellect in general? How, what do you think of, right? What do you think of yourself? How do you uh, perceive this world, right? This is all, uh, these are all related to the ascendant. 
right so um, depending on the houses saturn rules two houses <clears throat> so depending on these two houses um, it will it will vary person to person for you okay and of course depending on your chart so if you have dhanishtha nakshatra which is already prominent in your chart so if you have lagna uh, lord or the ascendant in dhanishtha or you have um, you know, sun moon or uh, atma karaka in dhanishtha <clears throat> then uh, this transit is going to be very important for you even for everybody also everybody else also it's going to be very important but especially if you had these placements then uh, this becomes further more important for you <clears throat> so therefore during dhanishtha you will realize that there are certain things which you thought is actually required but it was not required in reality uh, and in dhanishtha you will get lessons now how will you get the lessons it depends on you it depends on your horoscope in the sense like as they say you know there are like uh, three categories of learners okay one is the first class category top class 100 percent 100 marks <laughs> who is the top class most intelligent learner uh, is one who learns uh, by hearing okay so when you hear the word of the rishis the, the sages and god the shruti smriti itihasas when you learn from the scriptures you hear and you understand what is good bad what is right wrong okay then there is this uh, second class learner you know, second grade learner who who are these people they are the ones who have heard like uh, they but uh, they did not listen actually <laughs> And they've heard but they did not listen right they did not pay attention uh, to the words of the scriptures and god and uh, but they still ended up uh, realizing by seeing other people right as they say an intelligent person learns from the mistakes of others so this is second category does not believe in the scriptures but uh, has learned the lesson uh, from the scriptures by seeing the downfall of others and the upliftment of other people in in their life now there is one category you know, third class <laughs> third grade uh, 60 percent marks uh, <clears throat> this category is a very special category they have uh, heard the message of the scriptures they have seen others rising or falling but yet they don't believe it or they seem to not uh, actually they don't have sense control so the third class the third category of people they will learn by experience okay so they will get all the kicks slaps and beatings of this material world and only then they will realize and nowadays there is another category fourth class <laughs> fourth class is they have heard they have seen they have realized but yet they don't understand as in Hindi they say, hum kabhi nahi <laughs> So, depending on whichever category you fall, uh, you will realize that accordingly the lessons will come in Dhanishta Nakshatra. <clears throat> and uh, especially Dhanishta is related to Lord Shiva's Dambru, right? It's the uh, musical instrument which uh, contains all the spiritual vibrations of this uh, universe you know all the divine sounds <clears throat> so therefore it is also important that um, see it's very interesting you know shravana has to do with ears and dhanishta is also related to music right <clears throat> so if you feel that your mind is not calm you are mentally very disturbed you are always in anxiety you are stressed you are messed you are pressed you are depressed you are anxious all the time then it's important that when Saturn transits Tanishta, you uh, hear uh, some divine sound vibration like the Vishnu Sastram every day. <clears throat> and you can also hear, you know, the Purusha Shukta prayers, you know, or you can hear uh, Shri Suktam or, you know, so many, so many uh, shlokas are there, Stotrams are there. Uh, you can hear and by that you can actually calm down the raging mind because... The mind is the storehouse of 
uh, unfulfilled desires and you know uh, uh, previous experiences okay so therefore if you want to do good in life then it's very essential that you have mind control so dhanishta nakshatra is also related to drums okay so do not uh, so sometimes you may have this tendency if you have a prominent dhanishta that you declare victory even before uh, reaching the goal right so therefore be patient when saturn is in dhanishta and do not think that you will always be victorious at the same time you got to understand that there are experiences which you will have uh, which will give you a lot of lessons okay so accept the fact uh, learn the lessons and uh, understand now when saturn is in shavana that you will not get everything that you desire it is not possible okay so this is uh, this might seem very downgrading or denigrating or very depressing that oh i will not get everything but this is uh, actually the most empowering lesson that you can get because once you know that you cannot get everything then you can actually focus on those things which you are good at right rather than trying to make everything meet like as they said uh, trying to make the ends meet together so try to see what your strengths are what your talents are what your interests are and depending on that you express yourself all right that will be all from my side if you're new then please subscribe to the channel below and if you want a consultation from me you can go down to the website that's in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him thank you